Well, Stu, I, you know, I recall that we've uh, attempted to get together a number of times. Have we? I think so. Oh, maybe. We've discussed me coming to visit you in Silver City a couple of times. Oh, maybe. And there were plans made, and then, um, and then for one reason or another, mostly my vehicle was not running, hmm. or I was out of money, one or the other, and couldn't couldn't come. So we finally meet at, uh, in person yeah. after pff, probably five or six years, maybe more. I I'm not sure. I you know I think I I think somewhere I I ran into a. Uh, Great Western vehicle thing, and I said, "Well, I need to, I need to investigate this, okay. uh, and you know, and, and see what the, see what this mm -hmm. this is because, uh, you know, I, I had been uh, trying to do Jana things, okay, uh, you know, or but you know, which actually turned out to be uh, more of a uh, guided meditation than okay. than than actual Jana thing. Okay, I knew one of. Uh, a, a, a monk, uh, one of Bonte G's monks who defrocked, and he said, "I got." He says, "I got into this because uh, you, I thought I could get high without drugs." Okay. And, and you know, it's it's interesting that they 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 say they're doing that, but uh, but they're telling you what you're going to see. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's that kind of thing. Oh, I got you. So that's interesting. So your connection to so your connection to me is that you had already. Somehow discovered or heard yeah. about Jana mm -hmm. before you got to me, mm -hmm. and probably through researching Jana, you found me probably, mm -hmm. and I'd, you I'd, had somehow gotten connected to a Bhante Gunaratna uh, student. Yeah. And what was well, his name? Do you mind? Uh, well, his I don't remember his uh, Christian name, if they call it <laughs> anymore. Uh, yeah, he he, he, he was uh, Puma. You know, and he, he was at. Uh, that was his. Um, he was at monastic Sa name was Puma. Yeah, he he was at Pune, I think it was. Pune. Okay. He, he he was at Southwest Sangha, which which I used to go to at times. Southwest Sangha is in New Mexico. Uh, San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo. Okay. Membres in San Lorenzo. Okay. okay. You know, I mean, uh, Bonte G goes there once in a while. Oh, okay. and the major thing I can remember having met him a few times is he seems to have a capacity to remember faces. Really? Okay. Although his uh, his uh, his monk uh, said that he he also sat down and uh, memorized the parts of the Pali Canon. Oh, okay. So so he could. Uh, yeah, he's good at quoting. I, I, I yeah. sat a uh, yeah. ten or eleven day retreat led by him in ah. um, Orange County, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Riverside, yeah. and he was pretty good about quoting sections of the canon. The I guess I think the conflict I had with uh, Gunaratna, I had a couple. Hmm. One was before he arrived, I came and helped set up the retreat, and I helped organize it. Uh, um, at a distance and invited half the people that showed up for the retreat. And when I got there, the nuns needed to have a resident monk to kind of legitimize them. And uh, <clears throat> at the time, I was looking for, for uh, ordination. So I said, well, I'd be willing to do, be oh. your resident monk. And they said, oh, would you? Oh, that'd be great, you know. And, but when Bonnie Gunaratna came, uh, it seems like he did everything he could to um, to damage my reputation with the nuns to the point that they, you know, with, uh, withdrew their invitation, and and uh, Gunaratna didn't seem to have much uh, interest in what I had to say or do. So I thought, well. We appear to have different perspectives on the Dharma. Yeah. Yeah. But it comes to Silver City once in a while. But, uh, okay. Most, most, most of the time I... I do actually sit with a group for an hour a week. Okay. When I go. Uh, just to uh, sort of keep my, my finger in the... Uh, 
and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's nice. I, you know, I've known the people for a long time, you know. And I've been there almost 16 years. And they're a Bontage group? No. Okay. No, it's a, although, uh, although, no. Insight meditation? Uh, I think the, I think the woman who, who, who allows us to be there is, is more, she's a little bit of everything. But, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe she's as much Tibetan as, you know, anything okay. else. Well, that's one of the things I notice about Western Buddhists is they tend to be uh, a little of everything. Yeah. Right? You know, they'll do a little Tibetan Buddhism, they'll do a little Vipassana or, Insa or um, uh, Theravadan Buddhism, and they'll yeah. do a little bit of Zen, which is Mahayana Buddhism. So that would be all three branches of Buddhism. We don't well. seem to be too hung up on any particular branch. No. Yeah. yeah, but you know that they basically, you know, yanked, uh, you know, the, uh, oh, gee, what, what they, what's the name of that place? Well, anyway, the, 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 the leaders who brought this stuff back from, from Thailand, I guess it was, basically yanked uh, the... The Buddha, the the Theravadan Buddhism, you know, out of the cultural context. Oh, I get you. you know, and, and oh, you're yeah. talking about um, mostly the Vipassana meditation groups. Which well, you know, what was it Cornfield? And, right, Cornfield. And, and, that's know. Insight Meditation Society yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, Spirit yeah. Rock, Cornfield, and uh, right, uh, Jack Cornfield and Joseph Goldstein. Yeah, he's he's supposed to be known for standing out there and collecting uh, money for parking. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, well, I mean, they they pick what they wanted. But, you know, they they pick the, those aspects that what they wanted. You know, I, mean, I noticed now, the last time I looked at one uh, one of the Shambhala magazine, and I mean, the the new the latest thing is being mindfulness. Mindfulness oh, is... everywhere. I mean, right. you know, mindfulness in the bathroom, mindfulness... <laughs> on, I mean, it, you know, it used to be, you know, Zen and driving and Zen mm -hmm. this and Zen mm -hmm. that. And, mm -hmm. But now it's... The latest one is mindfulness. Well, you know, they're both talking about the same thing. They're just using two different terms. Right. Yeah. Um, right. Mindfulness is, uh, is generally... Um, but now they have, you know, they have seminars, of, you know, and they call them mindfulness seminars. Right. And, and yeah. they're, they're teaching... I mean, I can, it's hard to even figure out what they're talking about. You know, I mean, if you pin, try to pin it down. Well, they may not know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, likely. But, you know, I mean, these are, uh, you know, these, these are, well, you know, people need, you know, people need to know that you can, you, you can, you can meditate. Mm -hmm. And you can do some things for yourself. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, you can, maybe you can avoid pain, whatever, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, don't don't think that these people are actually, you know, you know, maybe they're not. You know, hard to say what, if they're really teaching Buddhism in any sense right. of, of a word. Sure. Well, I agree. I think uh, in some ways, Western Buddhism has been sanitized of uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah of its origins. The yeah. problem that I have, though, is, is the origins of Buddhism, of the three branches of Buddhism, are not really with the Pali Canon. They are really more cultural yeah. representations of what they think Buddhism is about, not what really Buddhism really is genuinely about. So I'm all for a Western version of oh, sure. Buddhism. The problem is... is the West so far hasn't really figured out that, you know, it hasn't really unpacked Buddhism enough, in my opinion, to understand what it's really about. So, and the, and the core component of not understanding what Buddhism is about is most people who follow Buddhism have never heard the term jhana. Right. They do not know that it's a definition of the Eightfold or the Noble Eightfold Path. And even of those few people who have heard the term jhana, very few of them actually understand what it is. So I'm kind of curious. What I like to do is to understand, when I'm on retreat with somebody, I really like to understand where they're coming from, 
and what they're expecting. Uh, and so, mm. you know, I'll be asking you a lot of questions about yourself yeah. Yeah. so I can understand you better.